Hi everyone. Okay, here I am. We're going to be reading chapter three and chapter three is called A New Home in the Woods. So that's so exciting. I'm going to share my screen and I'll show you the picture. Share screen, picture. Okay, here we go. A New Home in the Woods. And if you look at the picture, ooh, what does that look like? At last, Jessie opened her eyes. It was morning, but the sun was covered by clouds. She sat up and looked all around her, and then she looked at the sky. It seemed like night, for it was very dark. Suddenly, it began to thunder, and she saw that it was really going to rain. What shall we do? Where shall we go? thought Jessie. The wind was blowing more and more clouds across the sky, and the lightning was very near. She walked a little way into the woods, looking for a place to go out of the rain. Where shall we go? She thought again. <sighs> She's so worried. Then she saw something ahead of her in the woods. It was an old boxcar. In an old boxcar, boxcars are a part of a train. They used to carry like cargo from place to place. So it's pretty much a, a train car, okay? What a good house that'll be in the rain, she thought. She ran over to the boxcar. There was no engine and the track was rusty and old. It was covered with, gray, with grass and bushes because it had not been used for a long time. Is it a boxcar? Jessie said. We can get into it and stay until it stops raining. She ran back as fast as she could to the other children. The sky was black and the wind was blowing very hard. Hurry, hurry, cried Jessie. I, I found a good place. Hurry as fast as you can. Henry took Benny's hand and they all ran through the woods after Jessie. It's beginning to rain, cried Henry. We'll soon be there, Jessie shouted back. It's not far. That's not far. When we get there, you must help me open the door. It is heavy. The stump of a big tree stood under the door of the boxcar and was just right for a step. Jesse and Henry jumped up onto the old dead stump and rolled back the heavy door of the car. Henry looked in. There is nothing in here, he said. Come, Benny, we'll help you up. Violet went in next. And last of all, Jesse and Henry climbed in. They were just in time. Okay, I was wondering if I was recording. They were just in time. How the wind did blow. They rolled the door shut and then it began to really rain. Oh, how did it rain? It just rained and it rained. The children could hear it on the top of the boxcar, but no rain came in. Phew. What a good place this is, said Violet. It is just like a warm little house with one room. After a while, the rain and lightning and thunder stopped, and the wind, the wind did not blow so hard. Then Henry opened the door and looked out. All the children looked out into the woods. The sun was shining, but some water still fell from the trees. In front of the boxcar, a pretty little brook ran over the rocks with a waterfall in it. What a beautiful place, said Violet. Henry, cried Jesse, let's live here. Live here? asked Henry. Yeah, why not? said Jesse. This boxcar is a fine little house. It is dry and warm in the rain. We could wash in the brook, said Violet. Please, Henry, begged Jesse. We could have the nicest little home here, and we could find some dishes, and we could make four beds and a table and maybe some chairs. No, said Benny. I don't want to live here, Jessie. Oh dear, why not, Benny? Asked Jessie. I'm afraid the engine will come and take us away, answered Benny. Henry and Jessie laughed. Oh no, Benny, said Henry. The engine will never take this car away. This is an old, old car, and grass and bushes are growing all over the track, so no one uses it. Then doesn't the engine use the, this track anymore? Asked Benny. No, indeed, said Henry. He was beginning to want to live in the boxcar, too. We'll stay here today, anyway. Then, can I have my dinner here? asked Benny. Yes, you should have dinner now, said Henry. So our job, what do we think they're going to have? So Jessie took out the last loaf of bread and cut it into four pieces. 
but it was very dry. Benny ate the bread, but soon he began to cry. So let's stop. What does that make us think of? Remember a connection with one of the books we, uh, one of our first chapter books we read? And it is, ready? Remember Charlie Bucket and the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? They were so poor. Remember they only ate cabbage soup and on Sundays, remember they had um, two servings instead of one? So they're kind of very similar. They're very poor. And here we go. I want some milk too, Jesse, he begged. He ought to have milk, said Henry. I'll go to the next town and get some. But Henry did not want to did not want to start. He looked to see how much money he had. And then he stood thinking. Hmm. At last he said, I don't want to leave you girls alone. Oh, said Jesse, we'll be all right, Henry. We'll have a surprise for you when you come back. You just wait and see. Goodbye, Henry, said Benny. So Henry walked off through the woods. When he had gone, Jesse said, now, children, what do you think we are going to do? What do you think I saw over in the woods? I saw some blueberries. Oh, oh, cried Benny. I know what blueberries are. Can we have blueberries and milk, Jesse? Yeah, Jesse was beginning, but she suddenly stopped. She heard a noise. Crack, crack, crack. Something was in the woods. Oh my goodness, we're gonna stop there. Oh my goodness, what was in the woods?